getting ready to go eat lunch. I guess it's lunch, yeah. Dinner. Well, lunch and dinner, because uh, nobody's trying to do both. Hello guys, so we're out eating today at, where are we at, Macaroni Grill. Me and Mo Denise, um, I'll let her say what's up to y'all. But we came out to do brunch together. Well, actually, this is not brunch, this is lunch slash dinner. Hope you guys can hear me. Um, I'm getting my usual, which is the peony rustica and a side of Brussels sprout. And um, big for y'all closer. So we mainly came out today because we're going to get some fall stuff. Um, we get some fall stems, fall decoration, and particularly go to Kirkland's and um, Michael's. So we need a full stomach before we go shopping. I am starving, y'all. So starving. So, um, the good thing is, the living room looks so good. I haven't shown you guys yet because it's early in the day. Um, and once I get back to the house, I'll put like all the curtains and stuff up and um, finish putting all my stuff back. But I can't wait to like add in my other, you know, elements. But I love the way the white paint looks now. I'm so glad I went on and repainted it. But, um, I think people are talking here, so I'm probably gonna have to let y'all later because I don't know if y'all can hear me over these people. Hey y'all! So Monica's making fun of me because I added my crystal light and my Mio to my water. Okay, today's a water day. That's on the side. <laughs> <laughs> and it's gonna be good. Lay back and crack this window. I've been doing fall. Nice. Oh, really pretty. Give it a good. I put that on good when it gets hard. I stay on my job like no days off so you can go Okay, I like these tall vases and I love the camel color. What do you think? The camel color. And I would get like some, I guess, pompa stems and put in them. So this smells really good. If you did not get a chance to get coffee and whiskey, it kind of has that type of vibe because it's mixed with coconut, sandalwood, and vanilla, but it smells really good for like fall. I'm taking this home. I'm burning this tonight. Michael's flower section, totally empty. And all the pretty fall stems look like they have been ran through. Huh? Because I like these, but I know what I'm looking for and I have not been able to find them. I'm still trying to hang these curtains that I ordered off of Amazon. Uh, it was such a challenge because um, I love the color. So this color is pillow white. Everything is linked in my Amazon store. So <clears throat> I thought I was going to be able to keep the old hooks, but the way, focus baby, focus. But I thought I was going to be able to keep the old hooks. But the way um, the hooks on the new curtain rod is made, it has to basically go through a hole. So it's been a challenge with me trying to uninstall the old ones, put the new ones up. Basically, I just created more work for myself. Oh. Anyway, I've been trying to get done decorating with in here for fall. So, so I'm getting ready to go to... Um, Coles to make a return. I'm gonna return two items to she in. Um, I have bought some really cute orange pants. I should have tried them on for you guys because they are super pretty, but they were giving me camel toe. Like they was really tight in my hip butt area. And so, um, you know, tight is one thing, but when it starts doing that whole camel toe vibe, <laughs> no, we can't do that. So I'm taking that back. I have my retainer in. I'm so happy guys. I've been wearing my retainer like I'm supposed to. And if you can see, your girl's gap is not even there. <laughs> so I'm um, happy about that. I have an orthodontist appointment this week. 
um, so that I can get my permanent retainer put behind and I don't have to continue to wear this one. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. I'm gonna go get my nails done and um, what else? Oh, and finish the front room that you guys saw me decorating last week. Because here's where we are over here. Um, I did take the pillow inserts and put them over there. Um, I did order some pillow covers off Amazon to go over those. So that's the vibe. Um, stems. And I threw that pumpkin in the middle of the table, guys. But I need to put my coffee table books back over there. Filming equipment. Because I have been filming my fall video. But, um... Yeah, I actually am feeling the vibe. I think that fur, I don't know. I may leave the fur there. It gives fall vibes, but you know, not really big on the fur at the moment. Um, fall stems. It has been a little complicated to find fall stems because everybody has grabbed the pretty ones, if you ask me. I was able to get my hands on a few, and when I went back to get more to make it more full, um, they were out. So, um, yeah. Finding fall stems has not been super easy. Like, unless you're doing pompas or something like that. It's not been easy to get, like, other types of stems if you want to do neutrals. Um, and the pompas that I've seen, I hate the ones that have all that stuff flying from it because I have allergies in it. It just gets in my nose and makes me sneeze and I don't like that. So, um, yeah, I'm trying to figure that out. I might end up putting this lamp that I moved over here to the entryway back over there just because it's not, hasn't been easy to find stems, but we're going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out. So, um, yeah, let's roll. Yeah, that's really pretty. You got to make sure though it's not too uh, long. That's why I need to see like the width of it. Now I do like that. Yeah, you could put that against the wall. I like that. I got a lot going on above the bed, though. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's a lot. That's too much over my head at night. I'm trying to put my skin stuff. What does it look like in here? It's really pretty. This is the biggest wick candle I've seen. The console tables are so nice. It's almost green on it. Um, almost. You gonna be able to cut that, that part out, right? You asking me that question? <laughs> no, they gonna see me with that hell. Yeah, that's a bad day. <laughs> hey guys, good morning. I am headed to the salon to get my hair done. So I've been wearing these baseball caps because I took my, well, Jalen came home and actually helped me take my braids out while she was here. And so now I'm going to get my hair cut. I want a haircut. Um, like I was saying before, the light started messing up, which it still is a little bit. But anyway, um, Jalen came home last weekend and she helped me take my braids out, which is what I needed anyway. <laughs> and so now that my braids are out, I'm about to go get my hair cut. Um, well, pressed and then I'm gonna get it cut. I want a bob. Maybe if I put this over here, cause the sun is coming from that angle. All right, it's early in the morning, so it's not like super sunny outside anyway, but I want a bob haircut. Like I want a swoop in the front and then I want it cut like right here. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, call coming in, gotta go. So since I've been trying to do good, I um, made my own coffee this morning. I'm not going to the DD, not going to Starbucks. This is sugar-free caramel coffee. Well, the caramel part may not. I put a little bit of caramel in here, but the creamer is sugar-free. Um, of course, my sugar is sugar-free. <laughs> my sugar is sugar-free. My sugar is xylitol and um, whipped cream is okay 
that's on keto, you can have whipped cream. So you may be saying, girl, you always losing weight. Well, actually, I'm trying to do right because I have my birthday trip coming up in December. And so today is October the 2nd. I started yesterday and I have two months to get my body the way I want it to look in these pictures for this trip that we about to take. All right, guys, I just got my hair cut. I love it. Y'all, I went short, short. Y'all see how short this is? Like, heck of short, but I love it. And um, when I don't have my glasses on, I can kind of like do it like that. But once I do my eyebrows, all right. Hey guys, what's up? So I just finished my day work and I'm about to go out to the store. Um, I have some things I need to get and I'm hungry uh, as usual. <laughs> so I need to get dinner. But y'all, I am sitting here looking at the front, my front porch. These doggone Joro spiders are taking over. Like it's October. It really, it really looks like Halloween in the front of my house. Um. I gotta figure out how to get those down. I bought some, um, I bought a bucket because I have this stuff called Demand CS that I usually spray around the house, but it's not for spiders. I'm pretty sure you can use it for spiders, but I would have to like spray it in the sky. And um, I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to get up there, but I know that I need to do something cause they taking over. It literally looks like damn Halloween. Like I don't even need any Halloween decorations because the spiders have given it to me without me even asking for it. Anyway, y'all, let's go get something to eat. Um, and I need, and I'm really going out to get supplies from Walmart. And I haven't figured out what florals I want to put in that. What that room is in my front room? I don't know. I might not do that room for fall, y'all, because it's just becoming a little bit much. I'm trying to figure that out. And I need to get my. And I need to get my. I'm gonna get another refresher a peach passion fruit refresher or maybe i get a crayon apple refresher we'll see i ended up going to wendy's <laughs> wendy's <laughs> all right y'all i ended up going to willie's got me a chicken quesadilla with a queso on the side um some pico and then i went to starbeezy's and got me a venti mango dragon fruit lemonade with peach juice so your girl's about to chow down and finish watching be a mouth Y'all, this show right here is just so good. I'm a little late, but BMF, baby. And um, I remember the documentary, the real life documentary. And I think that's why I'm like really enjoying the series. All right, hey, hey guys. So today I'm going to share with you a fall sheet in haul of some items that I got in. Um, we're going to start with... These pants are really cute. They're high-waisted. Um, I love the color. They have the royal blue, a little bit of orange, um, and white in them. I'm pairing them with this top, which is also from Shein. I've had this top for a while, though. But I really like the two together. You know, it's something cute and colorful that I can wear for fall. Um, I, you know, you guys already know, part of the high-waisted club. I love high-waisted clothes. And um, if I want to like raise the top up, I can have like a little bit of my tummy out if I want to. Or if it's super cold outside, your girl will be covering it up. If you're short, they will work because they are pretty lengthy. So the next piece is this shirt. Um, I don't know, I thought it was really different. It was just really colorful. You know, I love black and white, but then it's mixing in a lot of the neon colors. I thought it'd be like really cute. I love it. Um, right now, I have it tucked in these jeans right here. Um, probably, maybe not these ones that come to the side like this now that I'm looking at it. Or, let me switch sides right quick. Alright, yeah, I like it better where you can't see that um, the zipper of these pants is made to go kind of asymmetrically across. So, I like it like this. These are cute. I have it on with this black bustier right now it's just a black bustier just in case i'll show you the other way you can wear it but uh for the most part i think i would wear mine like this i like it um these are my favorite i just love ripped jeans jeans are just that's just my thing um 
compare with some cute pants. I mean, you compare with some cute shoes, some cute boots or sandals, even if it's not that cold outside. But yeah, super cute. I like it. What y'all think? I love the color pattern. I just thought it was really different. Something that you wouldn't see, you know, in the regular stores and stuff like that. So it will be linked down below as well in my like to know it for Shein. Right now I have it on with this bustier. Let me pull it down a little bit. It's a bra bustier. So you can wear it like that too. So this, I would do this look more for like a date night, you know, if you're going out on a date with your boo or your bae, then maybe, you know, show a little bit more skin. I think the first way I had it with it tucked here is how I would wear it, you know, if I was going out with my girls, you know, the brunch or something like that. I think, you know, it's cute. This is what it looks like from the back. So, next are these pants. I absolutely love these. You have seen me wear these multiple times, but um, they're my favorite and they're back in stock. So when I bought them, they weren't in stock. So I put them on in this haul, just so you guys can order them if you want. They're wide leg. They have the um, hip out, I will zoom in. But super cute, again, pairing it with the exact same top. And um, I like it. I will say though, they don't give you that round behind. I think because they're wide leg, they do kind of flatten you out just a little bit. If you, you know, compared to what you're used to your backside looking like. But um, really cute. I love these.